Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn how to calculate this integral. If given integral is of this form or this form or this form, then the procedure is same. Before going to know what is that procedure, first you observe that this problem is of which form. This problem is of the form you observe in the denominator square root is there. So it comes under this form. This problem is of the form integral of 1 divided by square root of ax square plus bx plus c dx. If the problem is any one of given these three forms, then the procedure is same. What is that procedure? First, we consider the expression ax square plus bx plus c. Here, what is that expression? That expression is x square plus 2x plus 2. Okay. After considering this expression, you make sure that x square coefficient is 1 or not. If x square coefficient is not 1, we will make x square coefficient 1 by taking that number common. Here, what is x square coefficient? x square coefficient is 1 only. Okay, so here my main intention is I want to write this full expression. I want to write this full expression in the any one of these forms a square plus x square or uh, a square minus x square or x square minus a square. I want to write this whole expressions into any one of these forms. Here we have a trick for that. You observe this x square plus 2x only this expression we can write like this. This is the trick. Try to understand this trick. Here x square coefficient is 1. That's why here x is always fixed. You observe here after x square what sign is there? Plus sign is there. So here also we will write plus only. After x square if minus sign is there here we will write minus. Now you try to understand this carefully. I will write square here. This is always fixed. X fixed this square is also fixed here plus sign or minus sign or it depends upon here after x square what sign is there depends upon that okay now you need to find this number how to find this number you always keep 2x in your mind you always keep 2x in your mind irrespective of what is present here here 2x is present luckily here 3x or 4x whatever it is you always keep 2x in your mind 2x into you need to write some number after multiplying 2x into this number you should get 2x only try to understand you need to find some number here 2x into that number after multiplying all these things you should get 2x what is that number that number is 1 very good 2x into 1 is 2x only so we identified this number what is that number 1 minus square of this number square of this number is what one square is one only you try to understand if i simplify this whole expression what i'll get i'll get x square plus 2x if you want you can check here x plus 1 whole square minus 1 you expand this a plus b whole square formula a square plus b square plus 2 into x into 1 that is 2x minus 1 you see plus 1 minus 1 will get cancelled you will get x square plus 2x only okay plus so here here plus 2 is remaining now that plus 2 I written here so if I simplify this further what I'll get I'll get that x plus 1 whole square minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1 okay that what is my main intention I want to write this x square plus 2x plus 2 I want to write this whole expression in any one of these forms here this can be written as x plus 1 whole square plus 1 can be written as 1 square na? yes 1 can be written as 1 square so finally what we got that we can write that x square plus 2x plus 2 like this okay now here in this question in place of x square plus 2x plus 2 you can write this x plus 1 whole square plus 1 square okay that equal to integral of 1 divided by square root of in place of x square plus 2x plus 2 what we can write we can write that x plus 1 whole square plus 1 square dx okay we learn uh, those six properties you can learn these properties in class number 70 i'll write that formula here integral of 1 divided by root over 
x square plus a square dx. What is the formula for this? The formula is log mod x plus root over x square plus a square plus c. Integral of 1 divided by square root of x square plus a square dx is log mod x plus square root of a square plus x square plus c. This property we learned in previous classes. We done the proof also. You observe here this integral. Actually, I need to integrate this. We need to integrate this by substitution method, but it creates unnecessary confusion here. We can write this answer directly. I already explained how to do this, this type of problems by substitution method in class 66 to 69. You can watch those videos. But here I am going to write the answer directly. How you will write the answer directly? You observe this formula. In this formula, in place of x, here x plus 1 is there. Here a square, in place of a square, here 1 square is there. So what I will do, I will just apply this formula. I will just apply this formula. In this formula, wherever x is there, there I will write x plus 1. Wherever a is there, there I will write 1. Okay? That's it. You will get the answer. You just start writing the answer. What you will get? Yes. Log mod x. What is x? In place of x, what is there here? x plus 1. x plus 1 plus square root of x square plus a square. x square plus a square means this only. x square plus a square. In place of x, what is there? x plus 1 whole square plus 1 square plus c. Now we can write one more simplification step here. What is that? Log modulus of x plus 1 plus. You see uh, x plus 1 whole square plus 1 square. Square root of x plus 1 whole square plus 1 square can be written as x square plus 2x plus 2. So this can be written as x square plus 2x plus 2 plus c. That's it. Very simple. Little bit of practice is needed and you must be good in these properties. You can learn these properties in class number 70. <laughs>